All right, yo guys, we're back with another track guy video, and this is gonna be for Daily Race B. And look, it's literally what we just had for last week's Daily Race C, Monza Group Three, but now it's for Race B. Um, this time we chose the GTR. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the setup that I currently use, and this is the setup that I've been using for the GTR. If this might help you out, feel free to uh, mimic this setup that I use, um, or if you wanna adjust it or tweak it, feel free to do so. Um, guys, these setups are only really based on whatever you're comfortable with. Sometimes there can be a bad setup, depending on what you do change. But for most of these setups, you might want to change it, whatever that would be best for you. You feel me? So, um, feel free to do whatever with that. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, we're going to go over what we did to get this type of time. And uh, things to be um, aware of during your exits you're going to want to use some throttle control with this car this gtr definitely can get lots of wheel spin so be very careful with that on your exits um as we start off the lab here uh we're going to go down the straight rev it out and um and fifth gear here rev it out in fifth and then before we approach t1 you are going to want to go up to sixth gear because you're going to hit the rev limiter at 259 kilometers you are going to want to shift and we're gonna look for this 150 board. As soon as we pass it, that's when we break. So pass the 150 board, get off the power. 100% braking here and trail break a little bit. Now we go down to first gear to use it for rotation. Now, this is okay. You wanna use as much curbing here as you can. Give it a little bit of throttle, lift off of it, quick shift to second, use some throttle control, then 100%. For right here, try to hug the inside line as much as you can so you don't lose too much time by going too wide. Okay, so for right here, same thing. We're going to look for that 150 board. As soon as we approach it, we want to pass it. And you're going to look for this reference here. At this opening here with this orange mark here is on the uh, guardrail. That's like your breaking point. So this opening here, use that as your breaking point. Get off the power. 100% braking, trail brake, just like the first chicane. Third gear and use some throttle control over that curb. Okay, so for this, we're going to pass the 150. As soon as we pass it, get off the power, trail brake here. I only go down to the second gear just for rotation, but make sure, make sure that you're exiting this in third gear. Same thing for this next corner. But here, we're going to break at the 50. So as soon as we approach the 50, break as soon as we approach that 50. Trail break, exit that in third gear. We could have carried more speed, but that's okay. We kind of held on to it there. Now, same here. We're going to pass that 150 board, and right here at the opening... That's where we want to get off the power and start braking here. Now I quick shift the fourth to keep the car very stable through this uh, Ascari because the car can get very unsettled with those curbs. So at halfway through it, I like to go to fourth gear. For the final corner, you want to look for the 100 meter. And as soon as we pass that 100 meter, that's when you want to get off the power and start braking and trail braking here. Once again, I use that lower gear for rotation and then quickly get back on the power and exit strong in third. And as we're finishing lap, we're hugging the inside here to finish out the lap. And that gets us at least a 148.3. Uh, so guys, I'm going to run this back for y'all in two different uh, variations so y'all can see... Um, the car positioning and where we're placing the car for these corners. Uh, so first, I like to run it back in chase cam, and then we'll run it back in hood view as well for anyone that likes to uh, view it in that view as well too.
Alright guys, and there y'all have it. That's going to conclude the track guide for Daily Race Be Here. If you guys enjoyed this track guide, let me know in the feedback in the comments. Uh, also, if you guys achieved a time with this car, let me know what you did achieve. And if you didn't use this car, let me know what car you did end up going with. Alright, well guys, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate everyone that's hitting the like button as well too. See you guys in the next one.